In this video, we're going to discuss how to select your EVI 6000 cabled vehicle interface for use in the scan tool. At this point, you should have already installed your USB drivers. If you haven't, go back and do so at this time. There's another video that describes how to do this. Once your drivers are installed, open the eScan tool and you can pick any tool you'd like. I'm just going to open up generic. Just click OK. At this point just click browse. What we're going to do is go to the toolbar here now and click select vehicle communications. On this screen right here on the right hand side you see OBD2 vehicle interface status. Right here it says ease interface you'll see which interface is selected. Right now I have it configured for the Universal Reprogrammer 2, so we're going to have to change vehicle interfaces. If you ever have to do this, you're always going to do this through this interface right here. Just simply click Configure Vehicle Interface, and this will open up a list of all the available vehicle interfaces that come with the scan tool. If your interface is not listed here, you're going to have to go down here and click New and Set It Up. That will be described in another video. In this video, again, we're talking about the EVI 6000 USB cabled interface, so we're going to find that in a list over here. Here it is. Simply click on it. Come down the very bottom here. Click OK. You see the screen update. The USB driver serial number is updated here. It now says Ease Interface is the EVI 6000. We're not connected to anything yet. To test this out now, I'm connected to a vehicle right now. Simply just click Reset. You can test it out here and there we go it connected to the vehicle we're all set up ready to go and down here below that it checked out the vehicle firmware excuse me the firmware version of the vehicle interface and it is saying that it is up to date and that's it your interface is all set up to using the scan tool and you can start using it